This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Electronic Arts provided us with early access to The Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack. All views are my own. Hey everyone, Dan here today with a new video for you talking all about The Sims 4 Seasons, which is the latest expansion pack for The Sims 4, and it came out on June 22nd. I've been sharing some early access videos on my channel here for you, as well as a live stream on the Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash beyond sims. And this is my video review, where it's a little bit different than my normal ones, but I will write something up. Purely because I'm in the process of moving and haven't been very well, I thought this would be a little bit easier for me to be able to kind of share my thoughts and hopefully get a bit of a discussion going to see what you think of this pack as well. Now, before I go any further, I've been able to get early access to The Sims 4 Seasons via the EA Game Changers program, so thank you to EA for that. It's important to note, though, that all my views are my own, um, but they did provide early access to The Sims 4 Seasons, which I'll be basing this review off of. Also, as well, audio quality may not be that great. Um, because I'm moving, I'm actually having to use my iPhone, and I've kind of got you balancing over here on the windowsill. So hopefully it will kind of all be, you know, all back to normal. Uh, in time, but at the moment I'm afraid I'm kind of making the best of a bad situation. So The Sims 4 Seasons, finally here, one of the most requested expansion packs behind Cats and Dogs, but is it any good? Before it released there was controversy around the fact that the snow wouldn't have any depth to it like in previous Sims games, so the snow is kind of like a flat coat of snow, um, there's no different levels to it, and I understand why people were worried about that, but actually I was pleasantly surprised by how all four seasons looked in the game, with my favourites being fall and winter, because I feel that they really changed the world the most. But the seasons really do change the way that the game behaves, the way the game looks, and adds an extra layer um, to your Sims experience, and really makes this game feel a lot fresher by overhauling the day-to-day -day activities of your Sims. There's four different seasons, and you can choose each one. Each one you can have is either seven days, 14 days, or 28 days and as well when you load up your game whether it's an existing save or a new save you choose the season that you'll be playing in and you'll be dropped right into the middle of that season which is really really awesome so there's been some improvements to the ui so you can actually see what season it is the temperature as well that it is in the game the weather forecast as well um, which is really handy so you can kind of know what is happening in your game at the moment and there is a really cool new feature called the calendar and i did show this um i think it was in my winter video where I went in depth with it um, but with that particular feature you can see when your sims's birthdays are so they all have birthdays now you can see what holiday events are coming up what the weather's going to be for the next few days and essentially see how long seasons are going to be and plan your sims lives in here you can make your own custom holidays as well so instead of the default ones such as Winterfest, which is the Sims take on Christmas. Um, you could make one, for example, you could make a religious holiday, you could make pride, you could make what I did where everybody goes about and streaks throughout the neighborhood. Whatever you want, you get that option. And it works really similar to the club feature found in Get to Work. So I was really pleased when I saw that level of customization because it wasn't a feature that I was expecting to see within this expansion pack. Now, another really neat thing, like I keep kind of mentioning, is the way that whether obviously affects your game. Fall, you'll find everything gradually, the trees will gradually lose their leaves, they'll go really gray, really twiggy, um, and leaves will start appearing on the floor. Lighting will be more orange, it's just really vibrant and really nice. Things around the neighborhood will change a little bit as well, you'll kind of get your own like trick or treat sort of holiday going on. Um, and then that obviously moves over into the winter where it gets colder, snow lines the ground. Yes, there's no depth to this snow, but it glistens. You can see it glittering away and the world itself feels a lot more authentic than previous Sims Seasons expansion packs. So when you look into the distance, everything's really foggy, the visibility's a lot poorer, um, and it just feels a lot more immersive. And to be honest, if nobody told me there's no depths of snow, I don't think it's something you'd actually clock onto. But you can do loads of activities, you can build snow pals, you can do snow angels, snowball fights, shove snow in people's faces. Um, there's lots of seasonal activities that you, your sims and their families can do together, which is really, really awesome. And of course, if they don't wrap up warm, because there is now a hot and a cold um, clothing category within Cass, they will obviously freeze. You can also, as well, use the thermostat as well in the game, so you could use that during the winter to keep the house warm. Um, I didn't realise that was a feature for a while, and I was wondering why my sims were cold inside. That is why. Use the thermostat. 
um, and or you can have it cold if you really want it to be really mean. So in theory, you could lock all your sims in a room during the summer, turn on the heating and watch them cook. But that would be a really mean. With that in mind, um, winter is just probably one of my favourites just because of how it makes the game feel, makes it feel very closed in. Um, and as well, Winterfest as a holiday is probably the one that I think brings the most functionality because it involves Father Winter visiting um, and doing things like a grand, a grand dinner. Um, and some of the other holidays are kind of a bit crap. So Love Day, that really focuses around, you know, showing affection for other sims, woohooing, whatever it may be, um, and going on a date. And that's just kind of recycling stuff that's already in the game, so it doesn't interest me as much, which is a shame, but it's still nice. And the fact that you can make your own as well and remove those ones is fantastic. As well, there are some new woohoo spots. So for example, um, in the autumn, you can hop into a pile of leaves if you wish as well, and kind of conceive if you wish, or just have a bit of fun. Um, I know a lot of simmers really enjoy that. And as well, weather-wise, you need to be careful when your sims are out and about because when there's things like thunderstorms and everything else, lightning will come down, it can strike your sims, it can strike the area around them, and rain in it is really cool because all the trees are blowing a lot and moving a lot faster than they normally do. Um, the rain effects and sounds are awesome, and the lighting effects. So when you get a strike of lightning, the lightning engine in The Sims 4 is phenomenal. I am obsessed with it. Um, it's amazing what the graphics are like in The Sims 4. Probably some of the things in Seasons that I'm finding a little bit annoying, particularly resolve around build mode. So for example, if you are building something with the shiny new glass roofing, which was patched into the base game, so you can now have glass roofing, really exciting. You want to kind of show what it looks like. At the moment, if you're in the middle of the season, the whole build will be, for example, covered in snow, which isn't great when you want to be able to see what you're building, or maybe see what the glass roofs look like, or even take a picture to upload it to the gallery. So it'd be really nice to see a toggle added or something which disables it or allows us to change season, or if just when you're building, it doesn't show any season on the lot, potentially, until you go back into live mode. Really annoying, that is. Really, really annoying. One of the things with this pack is Obviously the main things are the fact that weather is added to the game and that really changes the way the game works and it's a solid pack. But it almost feels like something is missing and I don't know what it is. When I was trying to capture content for it at EA Play, I really felt like just something just something else needed to be there. There's obviously everything I've mentioned, there's holidays, there's weather, there's new clothing, um, there's Patchy the Scarecrow in the autumn which you can bring to life. There is beekeeping, they've completely overhauled gardening and harvesting and you can do flower arranging as well. As well, ice skating, rollerblading, but just something, and I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna need to really think on that because I really don't know. Um, and I always go on about constructive criticism and here's me not being able to think what it is, so I'll own up to that now. Seasons really does overhaul your experience in The Sims 4 and you are going to love it. It's by far the most in-depth Seasons pack that we have had to date. It builds on some of the strong points in other packs and then also adds a new fresh take on it as well um, in The Sims 4, like most of the packs do. I think the logo they gave it is absolutely disgusting. I can't get over the green. There's just a few minor annoyances there, which I really hope that they're able to resolve, particularly around build mode, because that is really, really frustrating me at the moment, and now that we've got seasons and we are trying to build as well. With that in mind, be sure to let me know what you think of The Sims 4 Seasons. I really enjoyed it. So you can head over to beyondsims.com, um, which I've got behind me here on my, on my laptop, on my computer, where you can see what my final score is um, for this pack. And overall, it's a solid pack. Pack, lots of new items in buy mode, some nice new stuff in CAS, and the way it just changes the way you play the game. It's definitely something, once it's in your game, you're not going to be able to play The Sims 4 without it. So if you haven't got it already, I highly recommend it. It is by far my favourite expansion pack for The Sims 4. The other expansion packs, I always say this is the best one, this is the best one, but they just keep stepping it up more and more and more. And Seasons is just something that I always enjoy playing with when I go back to The Sims 2, when I go back to The Sims 3. I always like to play in fall or in winter, and I'm so glad that is now in our games. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.